Thank you very much. Um, uh, this is a, a moment where I can be truly grateful for a lot of things. Uh, one, uh, Jeff, those are, uh, I think, really amazingly gracious remarks. Uh, you are a dear friend and colleague. Uh, it's not a past tense. It will continue to be that way. Uh, it is true that um, uh, I, I have enjoyed every, every moment with, uh, with you and the school. Um, uh, you know, people ask me, um, why are you leaving after three years? And I guess my response now is, it was three years. <laughs> and, and it's time to move on to, to, to other things. Uh, but certainly it was not a lack of very important things that we think we did. Um, um, and, and I think we're going to do other, other things um, um, in addition. So this is, a, this is kind of an embarrassing thing, okay, to be in front of everybody um, and uh, receiving this very nice award. It, it's embarrassing because um, I'm not exactly sure I deserve it. Um, and, and secondly, um, I'm keeping you <laughs> on a very long day, you know, and, and keeping you from cocktails. I know I'm doing that, okay? So I say I'm grateful to Jeff's comments, uh, but I also am grateful to Karun Rishi. Karun has been the mastermind, the, the, uh, the one who's been uh, really developing all that you see um, at the U.S., India Chamber of Commerce meeting the Biopharma Summit. I think some of us have just been lucky, blessed, Martin, myself, many others here, uh, to be uh, invited from time to time to, to help out. And so uh, thank you for uh, inviting me to do that, uh, Karun, for having the faith and trust that we actually will do something interesting and useful. I hope it's been useful. But really, congratulate you, honestly, for uh, the great effort that you do. Because I think this summit is a terrific meeting. I think it's an essential meeting to have a forum that allows all of us from different sectors, from, from government, particularly the Indian government, from industry, from academia. Uh, there are occasionally patient groups that are involved to really think deeply about how we can really use this ecosystem to do a lot better, a lot better for our patients, a lot better for public health. How do we really, in many ways, create uh, new drugs, devices, diagnostics uh, for our patients in, a, uh, in, in a, a faster, more efficient, effective way? If we can do that, we will have done something quite important. You know, I go to a, a new job, um, and when I tell people I'm going to pharma, those who are not in the business say, why, why are you doing that? It's a horrible organization. It, all it does is to lobby for increased prices, uh, increase uh, uh, exclusivity. Well, those in the business really argue that those are important in order to keep the business going. But ultimately, the public is not happy about what we do in one sense, and that is that we uh, really don't allow as much access to medicines as we really need to do. And so as Pharma is a, is a group that deals with um, uh, lobbying and advocacy, there needs to be a voice of, of science in that conversation. And I quickly come back to this meeting, which really articulates and begins, continues that conversation of what the intersect of science in academia, in, in industry, in government, in investors, in patient groups do in order to allow us to, to do that, all the things that we have to do. Let me step back for one second. I promise this will be not very long. But, but the, the, the deal is that, you know, with Jeff uh, at Harvard Medical School, one of our, you know, our key goal is to alleviate human suffering caused by disease. Well, that's certainly not unique to Harvard Medical School. It's something that we all embrace, that we're all in this to alleviate human suffering caused by disease. This is a global challenge. We've heard this time and time again at this meeting, that there are no boundaries relative to diseases. 
um, and, and the suffering that it causes. So what we need to do is to really understand more and more the role of this ecosystem as complex as it is. Today we had a chance to talk about the cultural gulfs that prevent a lot of activity. Um, I think even at the last panel we talked about um, how do we understand each other to work better together. And, and it's about education, it's about communications, and we still have a lot to do, but it's a very important thing to do in order to, to be able to get where we want to go. One of the things that um, I, I remember, Martin, you might have said this to, to Karun as well, is that, look, there are a lot of times where we get together and we talk. You know, talk is cheap, uh, we could talk forever. Um, but what is it that we could do as a group that was truly actionable, small, let's pick out small things. And, and I think we're, you know, I think Kroon with the group has been able to make some headway relative to issues of education, et cetera. But I think we need to do much more. And I really do think that this organization, uh, this summit will continue to do more, uh, more of this and well. We heard today from Ajay that, you know, of course, when you work with uh, India and maybe other countries, it's, it's a slow process. And to expect um, uh, uh, great changes fast, I think that's really not, not very possible. So I'm gonna conclude by saying that uh, I am de-grateful. I agree thankful for this honor. Um, I honestly do believe I don't deserve this because um, I have actually enjoyed it all the moments uh, I've been here uh, to help uh, with, with the, the, the effort. Uh, a rule of thumb in my life has always been, uh, am I having fun? And, um, and uh, I would say every moment I've spent with Karun and the group really involved fun, although it meant also answering emails and phone calls uh, very often, right Martin? That, that was a constant. So I want to thank you for your attention. And again, I'm not going to hold you much longer. Uh, and uh, I am deeply appreciative uh, of the honor. And, uh, and I hope that doesn't mean that I'm now officially retired from this, uh, this summit. I think Karun's not going to let that happen. Right, Karun? <laughs> and, um, and so uh, without further ado, um, um, have, have a good uh, uh, cocktail reception. So thank you very much.